as always welcome math lovers to this video of our channel solutions from the book today we have uh, selected um, what seems to be a geometry problem but which is flavored as a number number theory problem in my opinion so this problem has been taken from Singapore Math Olympiad of 2011 but bear in mind this is the second phase and not the not the final phase which is the third phase on the national level for high school high school olympiads uh, the statement of the problem is as follows determine whether such a right angle triangle exists each side is an integer and one leg is a multiple of the other leg of the right triangle so as always, if you have a solution to this problem, please uh, write it down in the comments. If no, let's go through one solution step by step together. So, as always, we will uh, start by making some uh, simple definitions. We will have uh, that uh, the angle C is the right angle is equal to 90 degrees. We will have that the leg BC is equal to B leg AC is equal to A and uh, the hypotenuse AB is equal to C. Now, from the conditions of the problem, we should have that one of the legs, so both uh, legs and the hypotenuse are uh, integers, and one of the legs, let's suppose leg BC, is a multiple of the other leg. So, we will do a proof by contradiction. So first of all, let's suppose that such a triangle exists where all three sides are uh, integers and one of the legs is a multiple of the other leg. We define as A and B the legs of the right triangle and we will have that um, given that one of the legs is a multiple of the other, we'll have that there exists a number k from the set of natural numbers such that B divided by A is equal to k or that B is equal to k times a. So by Pythagoras theorem we will have that c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared or is equal to a squared plus k squared times a squared because we have substituted b equal to k a. So we will factorize, factorize a squared and we will have that c squared is equal to 1 plus k squared which multiplies a squared. We now divide both sides of this given equation with a squared. So on the right hand side it will simplify with itself and on the left hand side we will have that c divided by a all squared is equal to 1 plus k squared. We will call this the equation number one. Now on the equation number one we have that the right hand side is a natural number because k is a natural number so this means that also the left hand side will be a natural number so this means that a is a divisor of c so a is uh, c is divided by a this means that there should exist a natural number n m let's call it such that c divided by a is equal to m or that c is equal to m times a where m is a natural number. Now, we make this substitution into equation number 1 over here and we will have that. Uh, of course, c is equal to ma, the a's will simplify. We will have that m squared is equal to 1 plus k squared. But what does this mean? This means that m squared, which is a perfect square, is equal to another perfect square plus 1. But attention! We know that 1 plus k squared is greater than k squared, but it is smaller than k plus 1 all squared. These, these things mean that 1 plus k squared is between two consecutive perfect squares, and hence it cannot be a perfect square itself. So, this inequality over here it is true because on the left hand side we have the difference which is equal to 1 which is greater than 0 and on the right hand side we have the difference which is equal to 2k which is greater than 0 because k is a natural number so we now have a contradiction because we have that 1 plus k squared is equal to a perfect square 
which is equal to m squared but from this inequality we see that 1 plus k squared is between two consecutive perfect squares and it cannot be a perfect square itself so these contradictions mean that n cannot be a perfect square as we supposed a cannot divide c because this is the condition from which we took m and the equation number one as a consequence is not true so our initial supposition that such a triangle exists is false hence proving the request of the problem which said that we remember to you there does not exist we can say for the request of the problem there does not exist such a right angle triangle that each side is an integer and one leg is a multiple of the other leg of the right triangle so this is the final uh, let's say the final uh, answer to this problem that such a triangle does not exist because we just show it showed it by the way of contradiction if you have any other solution please uh, be so kind to share it with us in the comments and see you on our next videos thank you and bye